his brother, when his brother's not kind and jerks him and stuff, he's not, it makes, it makes Colby sad. Yes, you have a sadness. Yes, you, sorry, I can't see your name tag. Realizing that I won't be able to go trick-or-treating. She says because she can't celebrate Halloween and go trick-or-treating, that's making her sad. Yes, over here, what's making you sad? lost his pet fish that died. That is sad. Losing a pet is always sad. Who else has one? Tilly? Oh, your great grandma is sick. You need to pray for her. That is making Tilly sad. That makes me sad when my grandma's sick too. You have one, Aiden? My dog died when I was a baby. And when you think about it, it makes you sad. He lost a pet too. That makes me sad. Does anybody, does anybody else have another sad thing? Lily? Oh, she lost two hamsters. You know what else makes me sad during quarantine? I didn't get to celebrate three of my kids' birthdays. They didn't get to have birthday parties. And I can't go inside Chick-fil-A. And we didn't have church for like a couple months. And that made me sad. And it just keeps, oh, oh it just made so sad. That's what sadness can do. It can cause us to just to feel like we're overflowing. Did you have one? She likes to watch them. Um, so sometimes it's okay and it's normal to be sad, but we don't need to stay there because we'll just feel overwhelmed. Like David said, he said, I'm overwhelmed, I'm so sad, but I need to look to God. I'm feeling so discouraged and just lost right now and things are not like they used to be, but my hope is in God. So it's okay to feel a moment of sadness as long as you look to the one that can heal that sadness. That's, that's what our job is to do. We're going to watch a little video clip. <laughs> 